Hi, welcome to our multilingual Detroit downtown tour company. By joining our tour, you will amaze at wonderful things Detroit has to offer. The rich automatic history, beautiful gorgeous building like Fish and Folk Theater, the historical Motown Museum, Georgia's Bell Island and much more. Together with the brilliant guides who speak several languages, will learn about architecture, history, and much more. Call us at 248-252-9512 to have us design a tour specific for your interest. Welcome, herzlich willkommen, Dabro Patal, Kushkelevs. What are you doing here? So Dora, good to see you. Oh. I came to visit Detroit today. Really? Absolutely. I haven't been in years. The yeah. town's looking great. I haven't seen you for a while. Do you want to do a tour with me? I would love to. That sounds wonderful. Uh, let's go on. Enjoy Detroit. Perfect. Yeah. It's not a beautiful building. As I told you, this building was complete 19. And the architecture Albert Kahn finished this building in 15 months. Can you imagine such a beautiful building? Albert Kahn was very famous architect in 1920s. Actually, 1860, his family moved from Germany, and his father was Jewish rabbi. In the 1920s, he became the one of the famous architect worldwide and he accomplished 1,000 buildings, even 571 factories in Russia. At this time, being Jew in Detroit wasn't really nice. If you go 1920, 1930s to Detroit, you can see in the apartment buildings, in the hotel, the sign, Jewish not allowed. Despite this, he did a wonderful career. This building is called Fisher Building. Why Fisher Building? Fisher Brothers moved beginning 1920s from Ohio. Look at that. Seven brothers, they came only with $5 million in their pocket. And by 1926, they became exclusive supplier for GM. And when they sold a share to GM, they became one of their richer company in the world. They had so much money, and then they want created something beautiful like Fisher Building. And they hired Albert Kahn, he didn't want to check it, it doesn't matter how much money they want. It's supposed to be one of the beautiful buildings in the world. Do you want to learn more about architecture and building in Detroit? Just hire my company. Remember, multilingual Detroit down. Company. Our phone number is 248-252-9512. Just go and we'll continue to discover a beautiful building. Isn't that amazing, beautiful? Look at this marble. Albert Kahn brought this marble from all over the world, Italy, California, and he used 40 different kinds of marble. Look at them, isn't they amazing? Yeah, and the chandelier, if you see them, they are from Bohemia. In 1920, the chandelier costed $150,000. Can you imagine? Would you like to discover a more beautiful part of this building? Just follow me, I will show you. Come with me. by bronze. They use more than 600 tons of bronze to make these doors. Look at every single element on the 
the stores. It's so beautiful. Okay, we continue on our tour. Dora, what's this beautiful building? This is another landmark of Detroit, which also was built by Albert Kahn. The owner of GM company, Mr. Duran, hired Albert Kahn of beginning 1920s and asked to build the main corner of GM. And this building has 15 stores. When it was finished, it was one of the tallest buildings in the world. Actually, when the weather was nice, you could see this building in 20 miles away. Wow, well, it still looks great. What is it used for now? Now it is Department of Human Services. Very nice. Glad they're still preserving this gem. Yes. When we go with you to downtown, and you can see more beautiful buildings. Sounds great. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, this is such a beautiful building here. It's amazing, yeah. Now we're entering, you know, Midtown. And there's a bunch of museums. You see here on the right side is historical museum. Oh, yeah. And the, this is a city library. Nice. Yeah. It's and the front is Albert Kahn building. The Wayne State University. Yeah. Can you turn to the Detroit Institute of Art? Oh, beautiful. And, uh, actually, there is a second biggest municipal library in the United States. Right here in Detroit? Yeah. No uh, kidding. In, in the United States, yeah. Now, you see on the front, you see all these old buildings. It's downtown. Looking good. the entire Woodward Avenue will have 22 churches. Wow, and there's some nice ones. Yeah. Still kept in good shape. Yeah, absolutely. This is a museum of contemporary art. Whitney. Oh, the Whitney House. Whitney House, it's restaurant. Ooh, I would yeah, love to go there. Yeah, there is Whitney. This is Albert Kahn's building, built 1920s. Actually, this was t uh, Temple Israel Synagogue. You see the beautiful building? Oh, it's yeah. It's built in a, you know, Roman style. And it was until 1962, it's synagogue, and then it was theater. Now we're the part of Wayne State University. Oh, nice. You never expect that it was synagogue. As I told before, uh, Albert Kahn was Jewish. It's called Von Stella Theater. Now on the right hand side you will see little Caesar Arena. This was open uh, just new a couple years ago. Little Caesar Arena. We have a lot of um, you know music events, athletics, pistons are playing there. It's huge and it's new. Behind me, Michael, is the Athletic Club. Another landmark which was done by Albert Kahn, beginning of 20th century. When Albert Kahn finished this building, can you imagine, I told you, if you come 1920s to Detroit, you can see signs that Jewish 
go Canada of the building. Can you imagine when he finished this building, you, he cannot enter this building because he was Jewish. It, yes, it's amazing. It's beautiful still today. It is prestige athletic club of Detroit. We're in a Broadway area. If you look around, we have a lot of all the buildings in this area. You can see we have constructions going on. And in front of us is our Detroit Opera House, which was remodeled 1997. Western and the front of the border. It's a building. It's all built 1926. They made pianos. Oh, really? Can you imagine three years ago when you will come here, this building even didn't have a roof. It's wow. all abandoned and destroyed. Now it's turned to boutique hotel. Oh, that is uh, so when cool. When you go inside, you will see what happened there. Oh, yes. Let's do it. Okay, Michael, go inside. So well, thank you. Look at the ceilings. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is lovely. Uh, uh, yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, if what you a... have nostalgia on 1920s Detroit, you have to come here. Yeah, so you can feel the old times. Look at all these vintage elements. Yeah. Michael, can we sit here and we talk? Oh, perfect. Tell you something? Yeah, this is a typical boutique hotel. We have a lot of boutique hotels in Detroit, which was built in uh, abandoned buildings. My next tour will be visiting this boutique hotel. This and is so cool how they so, saved it. They're so different style and they're so popular. If you go in this one, you can see beautiful candy bar with all Murano chandeliers. Do you want to look it? Yes, absolutely. Let's do. Yeah, let's go check it out. Yes. 